If everybody's given the opportunity to do that one thing that they're great at, then all of society benefits. My name is Jessie Christensen, and I'm the Chief Scientist of the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute. My research is really about one of the oldest questions that humanity has. Are we alone? Are we the only ones in the universe? I search for planets around other stars to try and answer that question. When I was finishing my undergrad studies and deciding where to do my PhD, there were two things I was really excited by. Exoplanets, which was this brand new field of looking for planets around other stars, and Antarctic astronomy. So I emailed around all of these different departments in Australia, and I got a reply from a professor at the University of New South Wales that he was about to start a planet search from the South Pole. And I was like, that's it, that's my project. And when I got there, it was everything I imagined. I got to go to the South Pole, I got to work with these incredible data sets, I got to look for planets, and it was an incredible experience. After I did my PhD at the University of New South Wales, I did a two-year postdoctoral research fellowship at Harvard University, you know, at the feet of giants, learning all these incredible things, working with these amazing data sets. And eventually, I got a call from NASA. There was a colleague at NASA who I'd met at the South Pole, and he called me up, are you interested in coming to work at NASA? And I was like, am I interested in working at NASA? Oh, let me think about it. Yes, I am. I, I moved out to California, I joined NASA Ames, I worked in the Kepler Science Office for a few years, uh, and then I moved down to Los Angeles, California, where I joined the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute, and now, as of recently, I'm the Chief Scientist of the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute. I would say the thing I'm most proud of is that I am the most successful woman planet hunter in the world, having found 66 planets around other stars. We think something like 20 to 50% of stars like the Sun have a planet like Earth. That's up to half of the suns in our galaxy having an Earth-like planet. That's incredibly exciting. A field like astronomy is a very male-dominated field even today. Um, and so I want to be a female role model. I want to be a woman scientist out there so that if young women or girls are watching, they can be like, hey, this, this cool scientist, she's a girl, maybe I could do it too. Everyone has something that they're great at. I think progress looks like everyone getting the opportunity to do that, right? To do that great thing. You know, all of these different opportunities we have to go to college, to get interesting jobs, uh, to work in interesting places, right? To live overseas, to come back to Australia. If every one person can do the thing they're great at and have that opportunity to do the thing they're great at, that is progress for everyone. <laughs>